Mission accomplished. Two months ago, we introduced you to a group from Virginia Beach setting out to climb the tallest peak in Africa, Mount Kilimanjaro. And tonight, they're back home. Having completed this feat, the 10 on your side's John Dowding explains how they hope to inspire people at home and abroad. As they set out to climb Mount Kilimanjaro, a group of friends from Virginia Beach knew it wasn't going to be an easy feat. But now they're hoping to inspire people to make impactful changes for themselves and for communities in need. It was the adventure of all adventures. Nine people set out to climb the tallest peak in Africa to raise funds for the work of a local nonprofit, Friends for African Development. We work with the Maasai people to bring education, water, and help the uh, community transition to a more modern society. The group was one of the first to return for the eight-day trek since COVID shut down the local economy. Climbers say the help now is vital, whether to construct wells or help the economy. COVID hit that country very, very hard. Their entire economy is based off Kilimanjaro. So when they shut that mountain off, they shut off the incomes for basically the entire area. A month since their journey, the climbers say the mental, physical, and emotional challenges of the journey open their eyes to what really matters. We all take too much for granted, and I think that's the biggest takeaway is you go out there and you realize how lucky we are in this country to have what we have uh, you know, on a daily basis, and I'm talking about things to sustain life. It was a chance to step back, see the world from an entirely new perspective, from a culture that we had never seen it before and then make those changes accordingly in our lives now. Now that nonprofit FAD is continuing to raise money to construct more wells for communities in need in Tanzania. You can learn more about their efforts over at wavy.com. John Dowding, 10 on your side.